It's time to build your PC in 10 easy steps. Let's start off by installing the CPU onto the motherboard. Press the lever and move it out. Pull the lever back and lift the socket lid. Now gently place the CPU onto the socket. Time to close the lid and fit the lever. Next up, we will install the CPU cooler. For a stock Intel CPU cooler, just press it in onto the socket. A third party cooler requires a few more steps. Place the mounting screws in the holes around the socket. Install the back plate to support the extra weight of the heatsink. Put a small amount of thermal paste onto the CPU to avoid any air gaps. Place the heatsink on top of the CPU and tighten the screws. Attach the fan that comes with the heatsink. Next up, we will install the M.2 storage. In case of M.2 SSD, it is a good idea to install it early in the build. As usually, the socket is not in the most accessible location. Some of the smaller motherboards even have the socket on the back to save space. Next up, we will install the memory or RAM. Make sure you buy them in pairs for assured compatibility. Just place each memory stick onto the slot and press it in till you hear a click. Next up, we will install the motherboard in the case. For this, first you need to install the back plate into the case. Most of the connectors on the motherboard are accessible via this back plate. Now install the motherboard mounting screws onto the case. Depending upon the type of motherboard that you have, the number of screws may vary. In this case, we have a mini ITX motherboard, so we require only 4 screws. Place the motherboard onto the mounting screws and fasten it with screws that are supplied either with your case or the motherboard. Make sure all the ports on the motherboard are correctly aligned with the back plate. Next up, we will install the power supply. Place it into the case socket and fasten the screws. Attach any extension cables. Next up, we will connect the various cables. Mind you, there are a few of them. But if you follow the manuals that come with your motherboard and probably the case, you will do just fine. Starting with the cables from the power supply to the motherboard. Connect the 24 pin ATX power cable and also the 12 volt power cable. Attach the CPU cooling fan. Attach the cable from the front panel of your case for the USB port, the power switch, the hard disk LED, power LED, and finally for the microphone and headphone jack. You might also have a few cables for the case fan like the controller cable to the case or to the motherboard and some other power cables via the Molex connector from the power supply. What next, you might ask? It's time to boot up. If everything works fine, close the lid, install your favorite OS, and enjoy your latest creation. We have missed a step, you might say. Where is step number 10? Well, you might want to install a hard disk or an SSD, or you might even want to install a graphic card. But given the short attention span of the YouTube audience, that might make this video a bit too long. People might just skip to something else. So it's time to stop for now. This is not the most comprehensive guide by any standards. But if you want one, just let me know and I will make sure that it happens. Thank you. Bye for now.